Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. Right now I'm heading to work, but I just want to give uh, a quick plug uh, to remind you guys. I know some people forget, but if you are looking to join JB Hunt, uh, please consider giving them uh, my information and let, letting them know that I referred you. You need to give them my alpha code, which is KANM8. Oh, the best thing really to do is to send me an email with your name and phone number. I will give them, I will give it to Susan or Corey, who are recruiters, and they can give you a call, find out what you are looking for, what's in your area. Uh, that way I can be able to get credit. But either way, even if you just decide to go uh, on the JB Hunt website or you to call, jb hunt just remember to give them my information and if you guys want have any questions again reach out to me my email is moses at driversuccess.com ask me any questions and i will be glad to give you answers One of the differences between driving as a local driver and driving as an over-the-road driver uh, and by over-the-road I mean even the regional drivers like if you don't get to go home every day one of the big differences between a local driver and an over-the-road driver uh, is uh, the quality of rest that you get uh, you guys know that uh, today I got off at almost four o'clock this morning and right now it's two o'clock I had to come back in because I start at 2 o'clock so those 10 hours if I was like um, an over-the-road driver after parking the truck all you need to do is maybe go take a shower and just give yourself a few minutes of unwinding and then you get in your bunk bed and you sleep you sleep as much as possible wake up in the morning take a shower have your breakfast and you hit the road but as a local driver, I had to get off, drive home, and then get home, unwind a little bit, take a shower, get to bed. And then I had to wake up a little bit early because I wanted to spend some time with my family, prepare myself, uh, whatever I'm gonna bring to, to, to work, like my lunch and all that stuff. And then I come back to work. I have to drive to work. So you realize that, uh, the amount of sleep you get or the amount of rest you get as a local driver is not as much as the rest that uh, an over-the-road driver gets. So that's one of the differences. I know of drivers that ca have come off the road because they felt like they are tired of the road, they want to go local and they've tried it out and they've actually had to go back on the road because they realized they didn't want it it wasn't working for them first and foremost they realized there was a little bit of work involved there are some drivers who feel who feel like it's a lot of work because you are in traffic jam and you are in tight spots and then you are all, always in and out of the truck because you have to go hook up and unhook hook and unhook so there's some work involved when you are an over the road driver you are doing mostly driving you drive for miles and miles and then uh, maybe you get somewhere they unload you you may not even have to unhook and then you go to another stop they load you you may not have to unhook so there's not so much work involved other than uh, driving you drive a lot of miles again of course there are some things that uh, over the road drivers miss that we get as local drivers especially when it comes to spending time with your loved ones but um that is something to consider if you want to come off of the road and and start doing local work uh, the amount of rest you get 
as a local driver is not as much as somebody that is doing over the road so uh, something to consider right there right now um, I believe I'm heading to Terrell I'm just gonna go check in in the office but I checked my pre plan I'm heading to Terrell for my first uh, my first my first drop <music> I'm going to Pep Boys in Terrell and according to the GPS my destination is about 82 miles away I'm gonna get there somewhere around 430 I'm thinking if you add in a little bit of traffic a little more than 430 but somewhere around there it's gonna take me something like one hour and 45 minutes so let's go to Terrell I may have said earlier on that I was going to Pep Boys, but actually it's AutoZone, not Pep Boys. So uh, the GPS was right on. Uh, right now it's 1624. Just made it here. I'm going to go check in. So if you live in Terrell and uh, you want to work for AutoZone, they are hiring. So you can come on down here, fill in an application, fill out an application. Or oh, I guess even if you go online, you can do that. Maybe you can get on the account.